the possibility that dreams from long ago may still come true, even if they, even if, even if, even if they look lost forever. What's good, Ja Azo? Back with another video. Hope y'all doing well out there. So I just posted a caption on Instagram, and it inspired this video. But follow me on Instagram if you don't follow me over there. But yeah, the caption was about unlearning behaviors that don't help you grow. As we get older, sometimes we still dragging old beliefs, old behaviors, old habits from our childhood. And as a team, we done brought that into our adult life and it ain't helping us grow at all. So I wanna talk about the importance of becoming self-aware, being aware of your thoughts, your beliefs, your behaviors, your habits. Because you may have some thoughts about yourself, about your life, that's not serving you at all. Like it don't make you feel good. It's not helping you move forward in life. It's not encouraging you. Like it's just draining you. It's just holding you back. It's just making you feel bad about yourself. So one thing you can do, I advise y'all to do is become self-aware and how do you do that? With me, it was meditation. Meditating in the morning every single day. Observing my mind, my thoughts, my body. It carried on in my day-to-day -day life. Like I meditate in the morning, but as I go about my day, it's like I'm still observing everything. Like how I feel, my mind, everything. So just recently, I just realized like when I'm uncomfortable, I naturally just put my left hand in my pocket. Like, if I'm in an uncomfortable situation, I just I just noticed this recently, within the past week, y'all. It's starting to rain crazy, man. But, uh, yeah, when I'm uncomfortable, I notice myself putting my left hand in my pocket. I'm still learning by myself. So that's just an example. I'm, I'm noticing that in my day-to-day -day life, and I have a choice. Do I want to continue doing this, or do I want to just, like, make a change, bruh? So you may have something not like that, but anything like you doing it naturally but you just not noticing you doing it so becoming self-aware helps you notice that and then you can make a change bruh so you might have some bad beliefs about your self-image or what you deserve in life or you know what's possible for you in life and you don't even know how much is holding you back but if you was to become self-aware you start to notice it. Then you could just choose to create a new belief about yourself. I do deserve financial freedom. I do deserve a happy, fulfilling life. You know, it takes practice and consistency. But with time, you will begin to see change, bruh. You'll begin to see change. Like, for example, I used to have a lot of negative thoughts running through my mind. Y'all think I made these positive videos for no reason? No, it's because I've been there. I've been there having a pessimistic mindset, expecting the worst all the time. I've been there. Speaking negative affirmations out. Today finna be a bad day. I know I'm finna have a bad day at work. I used to see them things. I used to say them things all the time, bro. I used to tweet them out on my Twitter too. But I started meditating. I started to realize, bro, why am I always expecting the worst? Why do I got all these negative beliefs and negative thoughts? Self-awareness gave me that. And then I just started practicing more positive affirmations. Things are working out for me. All things work together for my good. You know, I started practicing these positive affirmations. I started getting positive results. So I know self-awareness is the first step. You got to become aware of the problem or whatever's going on, whatever habit, belief, whatever. And then... Staying consistent, staying committed to the change, creating that new belief, creating that new healthy habit. I got a video of 10 healthy habits, check it out. But yeah, staying committed to change, you know? And then you'll begin to see change, literally, y'all. If you keep doing the same thing over and over again, you're gonna get the same results. So you gotta become aware of the problem and then choose to make a change. Stay committed to the change and you'll get different results in your life, you know? So I want to put that in your ear, man. Be aware. Be aware. You may have some thoughts, some beliefs, some behaviors, some habits that's holding you back. So practice meditation daily, I'm telling you, so you can become aware of these things in your day-to-day -day life. And then you can choose, do I want to continue doing this? Do I want to continue the cycle? Or do I want to make a change? All right? 
But yeah, y'all like this video. Share this video. Subscribe if you're new. Starting to pour down out here. But yeah, enjoy y'all Monday, man. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace out.